I spend much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my self diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of its day, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I know someone that might be able to help. Dr. Amari. Please, then you must go to her and talk. Perhaps this is an impossibility, but it must be pursued. Did you find Virgil? What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Corsarcher. A Corsarcher? You fought a Corsar? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of things, but never a Corsar. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They're called the Railroad. Thanks, Doctor. I know the way. You do? Oh, then good luck. I hope they can help you. Doctor, my, my friend here needs your help. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and code programming into a human brain. You... You want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like your proposal. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Well, it's already somewhere between the two. So it is possible, then? Likely, even. We just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. It 
caretaker should get back to me. She's not one to risk. So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? You know she's a simp. We're supposed to protect them. Lori, she wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Fury, let's begin. Let's the stage. Terminate all non-essential operations. I'll see you later. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5 has already been pressed, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. Nightjet? What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. That's promising. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. Oh. Dr. Borrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. The impression they got on the mind is a very delicate thing. Sometimes I you may think be a little sensitive. I will work on this. 